Okay, Don Dozo goes down with a crit. Let's go. Would have been great to get that last turn, but then we're not going to get this off. This giant terrain boosted stab. Woodhammer. This is going to be good. Woodhammer. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Draco Shooting the Master Ball, where we respect the teams or teams that I've created to reach. The Master Vault here, as always. I am Draco, and we're back at it today. We're on that reggae ladder, and we are looking to finalize our final climb to Master Ball. Our second climb, I should say, to Master Ball this month. Stay tuned to see if we do it. But before we get into the episode, if you can do me a huge favor and do that YouTube thing by hitting that like button. And if you are new to the channel, we are trying to get to 500 subscribers, so go ahead, scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button. And then after you do that, you get the opportunity to stay up to date with my... Pokemon content. On to today's episode. This team is a Hy Hydrenigan team brought to us by Clover Bells. Fun fact, this team actually top cut multiple tournaments. I will have a link below for Clover Bells um, YouTube channel so you could, if you really want the information on what team this top cut, you could head on over there and also head on over there and show some love and support for Clover Bells as well. Um, as far as the team, though, it's got this awesome, like, standard for Golden Go, Arcanine, Rillaboom, and Urshifu. And what I mean by standard is their items, their movesets, um, and their Terras are pretty straightforward. We've seen it before. We know what they do. It's also got the pretty standard Prankster, Clover Cloak, Tailwind, Reeklin, Storm, Taunt, Rain Dance, Tornadus. So five super standard Pokemon, and then backed with a Hydronigan. And Hydronigan has a place. I think any Pokemon that has a Steel move... Um, has a place because Fluttermane exists. And this one has a Steel Terra with Levitate, so you're not getting hit by those ground moves that would otherwise just do amazing damage to you because of Levitate. You can switch into ground moves, you can do whatever you need to do with that. Um, the rest of the moves on it are going to be Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, obviously, and Protect with the Life Orb, so you do really good damage. You Terra, you Flash Cannon, you Life Orb damage, you Stab damage, you do amazing things. Um, four really good battles in this episode. Moving four, because um, it took a little extra time to get the uh, Hydronigan going. The last battle is where we get Hydronigan going, so if that's the one you're interested in, skip to the end. But the third battle is a really good battle um, between me and another obviously me and another really good player so stick around for all four they're really good really shows off how the team operates and all that stuff so without any further ado let's just get into today's battles all righty time for a battle Had a little bit of a thanksgiving break that's why there was no uh uploads for the past few days except for the one that just you just seen um with the Zuian, what is that, Zora Aura? But this time, we're facing my least favorite Pokemon to fight, Garganackle. What do we want to do here? They do have screens, they do have copycats, so that's probably going to be a Toxic Orb, Tatsugiri. Um, I think if we lead Urshifu, Tornadus. So we gotta match that Speed Wind, Speed Wind. That Tailwind, or that Speed Booster... Iron Bundle and those boosts that the uh, Don Dozo is going to get. I'm just checking my Iron uh, Fairy. I think we can bring you two. And uh, probably Rillaboom. Because we Choice Scarf into uh, Close Combat. And then. Uh, that's if they lead the. If they lead the. Uh, Nine Tails. I couldn't remember the name for a second. <laughs> okay, they just go Garg. That's fine. Um. This is kind of interesting because I don't think we really need to Tailwind. So we could Rain Dance. A 
I'm not gonna tear it. I'm just gonna rain dance surging strike. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't care about what you're doing. You're gonna try and self-destruct, aren't you? One. Three should take it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bring in Don Dozo now. Bring in Don Dozo. See, there's the Toxic Corp. I literally made a team centered around all of this, but I used Regieleki for Explosion Endure because it's faster. And Urshifu wasn't around when I made the team, I don't think. Oh, yeah, it was. The second iteration of the team actually had Urshifu on it, but the first one didn't. See, they're really thinking about it. They're like, oh no, my plan didn't work. I used a really slow guy to explode and it didn't work. Because Urshifu just ripped it apart. Anytime now. Man, my watch is saying, I don't have a watch. <laughs> I know, that was stupid. Oh wow. Wow. Bring in the Tantozo. Let's go, Zo. Look. Don Dozo. Okay. Now the rain being up kind of sucks, but... Um... They definitely attack. The Urshifu spot. Almost want to switch there into Arcanine. Because it's probably going to be the Flamingo. I'm just going to switch into Arcanine just to get into a uh, <coughs> Intimidate off. If they drop Arcanine this turn, so be it. I guess we could have let Urshifu go down, but I really like Urshifu. He's just so strong that it's hard to let him go down for no other reason than just to get a free switch in. So they go ahead and Terra. What's it gonna be? Steel type, okay. So we have high horsepower, we have close combat, so we have ways of dealing with it. We set the Tailwind. Let's see, order up. Aero EQ. Okay. Get it? Probably lose the RK9 now. Yep. I guess we should have switched the other spot. Close combat. We might be losing too many resources too quickly for this to actually be effective. But we'll see what this big close combat can do. We'll bring Rillaboom in to try and nerf their earthquakes. combat that's ah, good damage that is good damage an EQ we do nerf their EQ because of yeah <laughs> it's doing nothing because of the terrain let's go a lot of health recovery though unfortunately Poisoned. Um, I'm just gonna fake out. And I'm gonna close combat again. Just so they can't do any damage this turn. Okay. Um. 
Grassy Glide might even do it. But I do like Woodhammer Close Combat. Okay, hurt by poison. Close combat. If this works, we just take a lead that there's no way they can come back from. Okay, Dondozo goes down with a crit. Let's go. Would have been great to get that last turn, but then we're not going to get this off. This giant terrain boosted stab. Woodhammer. This is going to be good. Woodhammer. Bop! <laughs> That's two KOs. So letting the Arcanine go down for no other reason than just to let it go down just helped. And let's see, is it Flamingo? And our Tailwind does peter out. Which is fine. Oh, I literally had enough time to go grab a tissue, wipe my nose real quick, and then come back. And they still have not selected their final Pokemon to come out and get wrecked. Let's go. Come on now. This is just this is kind of silly. We'll just wait. Do, 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 do. All right. Look, it's Flamengo. We read their whole team. Um, is terrain still? Yes. Okay. Um, swap in here. Swap in there. Okay. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Brave bird. Okay. I'm just gonna wet hammer. Tailwind. Might as well. I mean, it seems it seems like the safest idea right now. This boosted terrain. It, yeah. It, yeah. All right. Well, they only got like three HP left, so that's fine. Oh, and a berry. All right. And the brave bird. Whatever. You can have Tornadus. I just get Urshifu back in and just Surging Strike you and I win. Checkmate. Game over. Take some recoil damage. It doesn't even matter that the terrain's gone. <clears throat> Surgeon Strike. GG's. GG's. Urshifu did all the work in this battle. Except for that Tatsugiri. Rillaboom smacked that Tatsugiri upside the head. We just walked through an, a Don Dozo team, which can be particularly hard. I understand why this team top cut multiple tournaments. Let's get into the second battle of the day. Alright, time for the second battle of the episode. And they've got a pretty solid team. We gotta leave Tornadus for Tailwind, because they have Tailwind. And, uh. I almost wanna leave Golden Go. And Arcanine in the back. And probably Ursh. Choice Scarf Ursh is always good. My two, for me, it's either Choice Scarf's Ursh, Urshifu or Focus Sash Urshifu. You can't go wrong with either of those guys. I think we can do it with this. Uh, we do have Protect on Goal and Go, but we can't be faked out. So that's really good. Alright. Let's see what happens here. They got some scary stuff. Hydranigan, man. I feel like we could have maybe brought it.
Yeah, maybe we should have brought Hydron again, actually. Because it's got Flash Cannon, it's got Trickle Meteor, and those stat deals with a few of their guys. Iron Hands and Tornadus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be fine, because they're going to try and fake out the... Uh, or, or go for Drain Punch. One of the two will happen here. If they if they call the Terra, good for them. That's a call that you made. But I can't leave my fighting weakness on the field with the drain threat of Drain Punch. I have to trash those eyes. We're going to try and get a taunt off. We do got 76 speed investments. If that's enough, that's awesome. If not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They could Wild Charge into Tornadus, which would be a really good play. But we're going to get this nasty plot off. Doesn't even matter. We're Covert Cloak. It was a critical hit thing out. That's ridiculous. They're faster than us. Stop that. No. Come on. You got to run 252 on Tornadus. Just outspeed everything at that point. <laughs> That's how I run it. I mean... I get the bulk and everything, but now it literally does nothing. Now it literally does nothing, except get switched out. But we'll hit the make it rain. We'll see what happens here. They're going to T-win just to get the speed up. Ah, it sucks we didn't outspeed them. That's unusual for Clover's teams, too. Usually speed creeps everything that's okay though we can work around it we can work around it we'll just bring our can in to get a decent little intimidate off there's the tailwind whatever whatevs at this point and the wild charge. We're not going to leave my guy there just for you to wild charge it. That's not going to happen. This is a plus two Mega Rain. Eliminates the Tornadus. Let's see what's next. They could have Flutter. Yeah, Flutter is the right choice right now. Um, Flare Blitz. I'm gonna switch tornadoes in here. I know we're losing a plus one, but I would think I would rather switch here. And they're gonna moon blast. Maybe we shouldn't switch. But if this goes down, we'll just get a switch into Ursh. And if not, we get a tailwind. Okay, tornadoes just goes down. <laughs> That's fine. I guess we could have just protected there. Oh, Arcanine goes next. Nice. Yo, you can have my tornadoes because I'm going to take your flutter main. Take it. I gave you my Tornadus, and I ripped your Flutter Mane out of the battle like it was one of those Band-Aids that come off really fast. So now we just got Ursh, and we got Golden Go, which I'm cool with. It's not cool that we get intimidated right here. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I th still think Surgery Strikes just annihilates it. Yeah, it's unfortunate our Arcanine is getting intimidated. Um, you no know, Surgery Strikes the Arcanine. Hopefully that's enough. I don't see why it wouldn't be. These Arcanines go down in two hits. Of course, they could Terra it, which could be Fairy. And they could have Terra Blast, which would be really bad. They do Terra. It's the only one they can Terra. Wow. 
Water Terra. Okay. It's not Fairy Terra, so we don't... Our, uh, choice... Our Make It Rains aren't gonna do too much, but we still Surging Strikes. It does absolutely nothing now, unfortunately. Hmm. And now we're choiced into that, which sucks, but it is what it is. They Wild ch <laughs> RK9 with Wild Charge. Get out of here. What are you doing with Wild Charge? And another Wild Charge. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> That's hilarious that they Wild Charge that thing down. Okay, we will get a nasty plot off. Let's check our tailwind turns. One. So we just protect. Just to see what they're gonna do. If they net if they wild charge again, they're banded uh, or they're choiced of some kind on the R canine. Probably specs because that's what you see. But we're gonna find out now. Snarl. The thing has snarl. Get out of here, man. That is crazy. Shadow Ball. We're plus two, so even if they snarl, we're still plus one. Let's see what happens here if we outspeed after this Tailwind ends. That's going to really be uh, something we really need to know here. Uh, if we outspeed, we're in good shape. We can take a Drain Punch. Shadow Ball, yes! Let's go! Outspeed. Get out of here, Rekinai. Not allowed to be here. Golden Go is so good This, this meta in this meta right now. It's amazing. He's everywhere. Top cutting everything. Like, literally top cutting everything. Top cutting every tournament there is. Okay. Uh... Plus two. I'm just going to get some leftover recovery here. Just play the game out. I understand like we can go for a Shadow Ball, but I'm just going to get this little bit of leftover recovery in case we don't KO this coming turn and they get a crit. I kinda, I just want, it's always good to get that little bit of extra HP. We go from 150 to 162, so we gain 12 HP. And now we just smack them with a Shadow Ball. That 12 HP can make a huge difference. Not going to say a crit's going to take us out, but stranger things have happened. This is Pokemon after all. Shadow Ball. Okay, so it didn't take it out. They Drain Punch. I don't think this Shadow Ball takes it out either, so I, we have to protect this turn, I think. Just get that HP back. We have them pinned. We just have to play it right. Because if they start getting carried away with crits and stuff like that, next thing you know, our three hit KO becomes we're KO'd. They're seeing if any other moves stronger, which I don't blame them, but I think their best bet is Drain Punch. They really take their time here, and I, I can appreciate that. I don't take my time. I like to run through them. Drain Punch. It's just the optimal plays that we're making. So 12 HP each time that leftovers pops off. Shadow Ball. It might, it probably doesn't, yeah, yeah, but the battle was canceled. I was saying it might not take him out and they get another Drain Punch, so we just Shadow Ball at that point and win. It was the three hit KO any which way we looked at it with Shadow Ball. We could have done a nasty plot, but like I said, we if we get crit, it does more damage, and then we're behind in damage because we didn't protect and get our HP back, our HP recovery back, which can be very, very important. One HP makes all the difference sometimes. That's a great second battle. Let's get into the third and final battle of this episode. We need to get Hydranigan going. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Wheezing. That's all I gotta say. We have a wheezing team. The protosynthesis is still gonna activate because neutralizing gas isn't affected. I'm 
gonna guess there's a ability shield on there. Arcanine. Um, and they have an Amoongus. I think we need... See, we can't even guarantee Tailwind going up. I uh, see, man. I'm gonna run this. We'll, we'll do a, th a fourth battle for Hydrenigan. I gotta get Hydrenigan going. I just had a stall battle where Hydrenigan was going, and then they called my Terra with a close combat, so that didn't work out. And it was six, 17 minutes long when it was all said and done. So, it's hard for me to put that on there, <laughs> especially as a third battle. You got a VGC player, y'all. What's up? Okay. Um hmm. Let's see. Fairy fire. Uh yeah. We'll bring Tornadus back because of the, uh, not being able to get our ability off. We'll Terrasalize our Urshifu to get the double stab damage. And we'll Surging Strike. The Weezing. Yeah, Surging Strike this Weezing seems pretty nice right now. Let's see what happens here. Can we get rid of Weezing, Weezing first turn? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Cool. Yeah, that's unfortunate there. Like, really unfortunate, because we're probably going to catch a burn. And they horn leech. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Um... They just protect that spot, right? I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna search and strike that spot again. That was a clever taunt. I don't know if we outsped it. 76 EV investment into our Tornadus. Yeah, there's the spiky shield. I knew that was coming. They're playing very... The protect doesn't mean anything because we have Urshifu. They're playing very uh, straightforward right now. Oh, no. Neutralizing gas is a thing. have the Urshifu at this point. Bring Rillaboom back in. I forgot about the ability there for a second. Okay, it took way too long to get rid of that Weezing, but we did get rid of it. It only got one taunt off. It didn't get a burn. It didn't get anything off um, that we did not want it to get off. Forgot about that little neutralizing gas there on that one turn. It is what it is. The Ivy Cudgel. Yo, I'm not going to leave my fire guy in front of your guy. That's just not going to happen. Nope. Okay. 
Good old Iron Hands. Take you out. Switch into our Intimidator. Their good play would be to fake out my Rillaboom. But we'll just Intimidate. Two Intimidates here onto their one guy. It's unfortunate that our Terra is almost completely gone, but they withdraw Ogre Palm. Okay, good withdraw, actually. Flutz. The old Flutamane. Okay. And... Choice banded E speed though. Choice banded E speed though. <laughs> uh, no, I, honestly, I'm gonna double switch here. You can have, or they can have Urshifu at this point. Um, I know they're trying to get a tailwind up this coming turn. This could really bite me though, because if they do take out the Tornadus. Then, you know, a thing. Ooh, who are they tearing? B? The Fluttermane can be faked out. That's excellent. Fairy type. It's going to be a Moonblast into the Urshifu. Oh, a D Gleam. Even better. Well, not better, but. Ah, oh, Tornadus. My guy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Oh, the Drain Punch didn't do anything because of the Intimidate! That's awesome. Okay, Rillaboom. We fake out <laughs> the, uh... That thing. We fake out that thing. We set Tailwind. Yeah, we set Tailwind. I guess Hydrenegan would have been really good here. Because it has Flash Cannon, it has Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse. But the Tailwind, or the uh, Terra Steel, does not help us out. At all. Okay, they sent out Ogre Palm, that's fine. Some damage there. The Tailwind. It's funny, they could Wild Charge here. So they just drain punch into the Rillable. That's great. That's good stuff. Okay. Let's Bleak Wind. And let's swap into RK9 to get an Intimidate off. I know we're putting it in front of a... Uh, this is a pretty obvious switch is what I'm trying to spit out here. We're putting it in front of the Water user. But I want to get another Intimidate down. Um, if we can just cycle Intimidates, it is what it is. But we're going to get this Bleak Wind off, hopefully. It'll put their Iron Hands at negative three. They're really thinking about it. Good for them to really think about it. Take the time. You've got the time. Take the time. Just watch your time, though. It's a pretty obvious switch. spiky shield, but it was also obvious they were spiky shielding. Some damage there, not as much as we wanted, but some nonetheless, and an ice punch. Super effective. I don't blame you there. Oh, and the grass disappeared, so we get the grass right back up. Let's go. Let's go. Okay.
We'll, we'll lock into E speed. I think it's our best bet right now. They went for the double spiky shield. Good for them. Okay. And now they're. Iron Hands is stuck on the field. Minus three. Bruh. Was that a crit? That had to have been a crit. That wasn't a crit? What? What? Oh no. They're minus two. That wasn't a crit. That is insane. I'm gonna double the flutter main. I think the choice scarfed or choice spec, I should say. We probably lose RK9 here, unfortunately. So tearing the RK9 was probably our best bet. E speed. Yo, let's go. We should have just grassy glided. Wood hammer. Okay. Let's get a low roll here. Let's hope for a low roll, and we're good. Ice punch. Ice punch. Let's go. Ice punch. All right, E speed. That's not a lot of damage. Hi, right, horsepower. Dude, <laughs> how did we miss high horsepower? Anyways. It's Woodhammer because of the terrain. High horsepower is nerfed. Uh, I believe it's nerfed by the grass because Earthquake is, so ground move, I would think that would be how that works, but it could just be Earthquake that's nerfed. I don't remember. Okay. And a drain punch. Okay, yeah, we win. Uh, high horsepower, or not high horsepower, um, Woodhammer wins. The ice punch is so bad, though. Woodhammer, GG's, that was a great episode. Great way to end it. End it. But I'm going to throw one more in. I just got to get this Hydronigan going, and I have it. And I'm supposed to be the thumbnail. <laughs> GG's, very good game, actually. Well fought, well fought. Um, taking out the Flutter Main in one go and taking out their um, Ogre Palm in one go swung the momentum in our favor. That's 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 what happened there. So, GG's. We're going to get one more coming at you um, and we'll see what we can do with that. Yes, you see it. That is an actual Articuno. A real life Articuno. Um... <clears throat> Unfortunately, we don't really want to bring our Intimidator here just because, you know, Intimidate. So I'm going to bring Rillaboom. I'm going to bring Urshifu. And, uh, Golden Go. And boy, does Hydrenigan look awful here. But, uh, it's the final battle. We're going to bring it. We need Tailwind. No. No, it's fake out first. It's fake out first. Uh, we don't want to Terra. Because we want to save our Terra for Hydronigan, if anything. 
because of the ice weakness, and they have an Articuno. They really like Articuno because their card is an Articuno, but it's Mike Wazowski style, where uh, the, the logo covers his face. Oh, that was a Monsters, Inc. reference. Okay. I really, really hope... I really hope... that we're faster with our Rillaboom. Because we need to fake him out. We are faster. Let's go. Fake out. And a surging strikes. Oh no. They're still going to get it up. Oh, that's really unfortunate that that lives. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay. How do we deal with screens? I'm gonna wood hammer that spot. They could blizzard. We'll bring Urshifu back. We'll bring in Golden Go. Uh, yeah, just because I knew they were gonna do that. And the blizzard. Okay, they do blizzard. Rillaboom. Rillaboom, bro. Crit on Rillaboom. Okay, that makes more sense. That goes away. I guess it should have been... We should have actually let Golden go. Ugh, because we just needed the fake out. We should have just went with close combat. Yeah, close combat was our play. Just because... Um, it just was. Intimidate pops off. I kind of figured that was a thing. Um, I'm just gonna grassy glide to get some damage onto that thing right there. And I wanna know if they have high horsepower. Stomping tantrum. They do have stomping tantrum. Okay. And a U turn. Okay. Boom boom goes down. Articuno. Not what we wanted to see, guys. Not what we wanted to see. Nope. Not at all. Ursh. Surging strikes. Of course, I could just switch into the um, Rillaboom here. But I think they're really going to concentrate on Golden Goal going down. Let's see. Yes. Let's go. Levitate says you're not doing that. And the Surging Strikes is going to take it out. That's great. Okay. Hit two times. They faint. They freeze dry. Yikes, stripes. <laughs> freeze dry is terrible. 
<laughs> oh, they're their life orb. That's awesome, their life orb. That's actually really cool. Um, this guy, we're gonna t we have to Terra Hydrinigan. That was the whole point. Um, but first we're gonna protect. We're just gonna double protect. So I want to see what else they have. Uh, they're gonna fake out. Probably Hydrant again. Let's see what happens. They Terra. It's gonna be Arc Articuno. Be Articuno, bro. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. This is so good. <laughs> so good. Ice type. You just tear it into a weakest. That's great. That's great. We could have just uh, went with the uh, make it rain right there, but you know, I just want to see what they're gonna do. I want to see if they have other. They have Blizzard, bro. Not cool. <laughs> and let's see, high horsepower. Okay, so they do have high horsepower. That's unfortunate. The snow stops, so their defense go back to the normal. And there's three more turns before the um, Aurora Veil rears out. We're going to check that right now, though. Grass disappears. Okay, well, that's not good. Yeah, three more turns of Aurora Veil. Make it rain, I guess. We'll tear into our steel type. They could miss Blizzard now uh, because the snow is gone. And they can't hit us with high horsepower because we have levitate. So we're protected there. The whole end game was to do exactly what we're doing here. So the game's going to plan. Um, it's just. Are we going to be able to do it? I'm gonna hit a freeze dry. Okay. Shouldn't do too much. That did too much. <laughs> Not very effective. My foot. And we get make it rain before their RK9. Or before their Rillaboom. Sorry about that. Okay. And let's see. Can we live a high horsepower? That's the question. We do. Okay. Um, 80, 80, 130. It's a flash cannon and it's a protect. It's a flash cannon protect. Okay, flash cannon. Alright, let's see. High horsepower. Give me that high horsepower. Survey shows high horsepower. Survey says, actually, is how that goes. Not sure, but survey shows. If you're going to quote something, quote it right, bro. Shadow Ball is probably our best bet. Nope. It's probably still Mega Rain, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Because of the decrease there. Battles canceled. GG's. Couldn't let me finish that. <laughs> Come on, you should let me finish. We had you beat. Come on, come on. Your Articuno, your Mike Wazowski Articuno didn't do its thing. He got wrecked. GG's my opponent. It's a great way to end the episode. This team is amazing. It's so much fun. Um, I only lost one battle with it. And that was to a stall team because they just outstalled me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I did the five to five battles in total and uh, won four out of Five, which is amazing to do with the team um, considering let's actually check our rank because we were super close but yeah like I said this team is amazing uh, it's top cut multiple tournaments 
And it was made by one of my favorite team builders, Clover Bells, and there we go. That is Master Ball twice in one month on two different accounts. The first account we started at the ba the basic, the basic, the beginning tier, and we worked our way all the way up. And this one we started somewhere in uh, I think the Great Ball tier. I think the second Great Ball tier thing. So we had to go up to two ranks. Uh, but we did break into the Master Ball tier today with this amazing Hydronigan team. That is the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, in fact, enjoy this episode, hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, we're trying to reach 500 subscribers. Cannot do that without your help. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then you get the opportunity to stay up to date with my Pokemon content, which I am focusing. I'm really trying to focus on getting daily uh, stuff uploaded. We took a little bit of a break because of Thanksgiving and stuff like that. But... Until next time, stay positive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.